a very good morning team Zimbabwe is Ronald Wekwama Kusha. So Citizens Coalition for Change is clear. Their deputy spokesperson Ostalos Gift Sisiba says the proclamation for by-elections for disputed and fake vacancies created by ZANU PF through proxies is all but shown Mnangagwa's hand and intention to destroy and decimate the authentic opposition after he was defeated in the just ended election. The citizens' movement will not accept this. This is a clear position to Zimbabwe. He clearly indicated that um, they are not accepting the by elections, they are not accepting the bogus recalls, they are not accepting what is happening. So the question is. What are they going to do? That is a very important question at this juncture. At this moment in time, it's very important to note that Triple um, C has to show what they are going to do. And um, it's moment, it's, this is the right time for them to, to actually act. I have seen a lot of people, uh, the likes of Dr. Wotam Zembi and others, sharing the same position to say Triple C must not participate in these by-elections. And uh, that will send a clear message to the regime that uh, indeed whatever they are doing is illegal. Because by simply participating, it will mean that um, technically they would have accepted the recourse. I have said these times without numbers that uh, the recourse by Tokozani Kupe and Douglas Munzora cannot be equated to these recourse. During that period, those used the courts. But this period, it's somebody just coming from nowhere and saying, Ndinda to in charge. It means the institutions, uh, just imagine someone coming from nowhere, Oenda ku United Nations, Kanauti ku Sadiq, Kanauti ku AU, Akatubata Samboti, Ndini President, Wenyika, Ye Zimbabwe. And that we are in a position here, could it doesn't work like that? Legal bodies should understand that uh, there is protocol when you are dealing with a legal persona, you have to use protocol. Remember, Triple C is going before the courts several times. I, I, I see a lot of people saying, I want a constitution, I want this, I want that. Triple C is recognized as a legal persona. Why? What makes it a legal persona is the constitution, is the name, is the leadership. Who represented the triple C? Um, who initiated the court proceedings on behalf of triple C in the past? That is very important. All those things have been disregarded. So look at it from any angle of your choice. You agree with me that um, these recalls are not recalls. They remain not recalls. Personally, I don't see any MP being uh, recalled from parliament because this was done illegally. But the problem is that we have to use police. They will have to use police with happy in the beginning, even if their actions are illegal. So the court in Zimbabwe, no matter how captured it is, it must have a sense of justice. To say this is embarrassing. How can you run a country like that? It means we, we won't need any court. If the courts rule against the triple C MPs, then we don't need any court. need to sit before any court of law. If they uh, uphold this nonsense, if the courts were fair, if the court, courts were just, Mudenda, the courts would, would recommend, not even recommend, would remove him from that seat. He has failed to discharge his duties. He is very incompetent. He has proven that um, he is not even a lawyer. How can you be a lawyer when you fail to read the laws? He's not an advocate. 
I doubt his credentials as an advocate because these are basic laws which can be interpreted and read by uh, people in the streets. How can somebody, a learned lawyer, a learned advocate, fail to deal with that? Blessed Magadzi, because when the part officials like you need to regularize from uh, following as many people as you can. How do you engage with supporters who want to give you advice behind the scenes? I agree with you, blessed, on that one. Leaders should follow um, our citizens as well. We should resign in mass. So that Chamisa guy has to go. Oenda ko uyani na itichi gwanzura. Ano ndepi? You can come. You will ka itichi gwanzura. Uita ya kupati. It's simple. Just like that. Sanzi, we will protest this very on the will of the people. They have already decided on 23 August. So Sanzi, file another court case on top of the previous one, citing ZZ Mudenda, First Trust, Chavangu, ED. Okay. So Sanzi, up, um, resistance is the only answer. This is Sanzi. Sanzi, Sanzi. Are you going to participate in those by elections? I think you didn't hear or understand what Comrade Ostalo says. Ganzi, how does one join Triple C in order to be considered a candidate for National Assembly? Unoenda kwa uno gara kunjimbo kwako and koko nduko uno pindama structures at Triple C they are known from your village or from your street. Kuna ma point persons are equal. Then you start to participate from there. So Ganzi, action. And thank you, we cannot participate in this. Enough is enough. So, Ganzi, all the main ones is two-thirds majority. So, no, 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 the actions of President Minangagwa, the actions of the Speaker, the actions of um, everyone else who is involved in this. I, I, I do not understand, Tim Zimbabwe, what these people want to achieve. It was, it was better for them to simply say, Triple C is banned and not allowed to operate. It was better for them to, 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 to be open and say so than to, to create your own opposition political organizations using dirty tactics like this. But, Tim Zimbabwe, I do not know when. All I know is that uh, this will backfire. And this will come to bite the people who are actually creating all this mess. Time shall come when some things need to be addressed as they are. But um, we continue to watch, we continue to see how they are going to succeed. Personally, I believe in national unity I believe in um, uh, politics of mutual understanding, politics of national interests, politics of um, moving forward, creating a sustainable, a viable economy for the people, for the sake of the people, not for the sake of leaders. That is what I believe in. 